20 years, um, Ongwen, Dominic Ongwen has been with the LRA and we just, it just came to us by surprise that he handed himself over to the Seleka rebels who also handed him over to the, to the US forces. Mm -hmm. I want to know, he has been in your custody for six days. Where is he and what next for him? Well, I'm very pleased to say that uh, Dominic Ongwen is now in the custody of the Uganda People's Defense Force in Central African Republic. Um, uh, as part of their responsibilities towards, uh, towards the African Union Regional Task Force, which is the African Union's task force uh, to counter the LRA, uh, they've taken custody of him from the Special Forces uh, today. So I'm very pleased <coughs> to, to say that. But I think more, more, moreover, what I'd like to, to say is that this is just, it's a, it, this is a great development. This is really just a very prominent symbol of how well our partnership is working uh, as, as, as we try to um, take the LRA off the battlefield. Um, the other thing I'd like to say is, you know, the UPDF uh, as our partner. Uh, we have several partners, uh, DRC military, South Sudanese military, <coughs> but especially the UPDF. They're the ones who for years have been doggedly, uh, persistently pursuing Kony and the LRA. Uh, they've paid the price in blood and treasure over that time, and if it wasn't for them, Dominic Anguin and other people like him would still be at large. And so I think the UPDF deserve a lot of credit for where we are right now. Uh, I think it's just a tremendous development to have the number two person in the LRA removed from the battlefield. We're very excited. Excited indeed. Dominic Anguin has been in the U.S. custody for six days. Mm -hmm. And we know that the Ugandan forces have tried to ask him to be handed over. Mm -hmm. What was going on in the back seat? Okay. Why has it taken <coughs> six sure. days for the U.S. forces to hand over Dominic Ongwen to the Ugandan forces? Well, I think